It is the fourth largest religion in the world, and its followers are found in every country of the world. Buddhism is a unique doctrine that teaches spiritual enlightenment through loving kindness, compassion, and peace. This is the image many people have of Buddhists. These are Buddhist monks from Thailand. They represent just a small number of the estimated 150,000 Buddhists living in Chicago. There are American, European Buddhists. There are Buddhists who are Catholic. There are Jews who are Buddhist. We do have police who are members. Um, we are in all walks of uh, life. I'm a journalist and a publicist. We are in politics. There are more than 60 Buddhist temples in the Chicago area representing different sects of Buddhism, such as Pure Land, Michiren, or Zen. Siddhartha Gautama was a real person and is the founder of Buddhism. He lived in India in the 5th century BC. He is revered as guide, not a god. He's human, just the same as anyone else. So not, not a god, uh, a teacher, a fountainhead, someone we look to. But it's the teaching more important than the person. The word Buddha means awakened one. Siddhartha Gautama was deemed a Buddha when he found the path to supreme enlightenment. This released him from what Buddhists believe is a continuous cycle of birth, suffering, death, and rebirth. We believe the soul is eternal, so the causes that we make determine how we will be reborn. We don't believe that we have one life and this is it and we go to heaven as Christians do. Buddhism emphasizes the value of all life and all faiths. One of the Buddhist teachings is that there are 84,000 ways to find the truth. And whether you take the way of, of Islam Christianity, Judaism, if this helps you to live better and to believe that this life is precious, then I think that's wonderful.